Hello, and welcome to The Roulette. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dan Fortion. Yo. And Jason Amherst. Crazy USA Humbugger, yes! And we're going to play some N64 games, so let's get right to it. There's oh. there's some gold on that there roulette board. Let's, uh, uh, hope. yeah. Have I got a story for you guys? Oh, boy. So, yesterday, at work, um, a person who shall remain nameless. Well, let me back up. This person does not work in our company, but he works in the, the suite next door. I was going to the bathroom, just relieving myself, you know, as people are wont to do when they are. Oh, Kazakhstan. Oh. It's you Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey, The World. Very nice. Anyway. Um, I have no problem with this. Yeah, I don't no. have a problem with this either. <clears throat> so, as I was going to the bathroom, I hear a very squeaky sound coming from one of the bathrooms. Y y you know, like the kind of sound uh, where... Okay, I, I'm I'm just looking up the teams right now. Uh, if you if you want, uh, since you're going to be playing, Mike, yes. If you want to win, be the Czech Republic. Okay. Wait, the Czech Republic? And who should, they... who should I face? Uh, I don't know, but Czech Republic got gold at the Olympics in 1998. Oh. Russia got silver, Finland got bronze, Canada came in fourth. You're telling me Kazakhstan didn't destroy everybody? Uh. Anyway, let me jump back into the story. So jump back into your story. Continue. So I'm hearing some rather distinctive noises. And suddenly I hear a guy groaning. Oh my! And I'm just like, oh, oh, oh dear! Is 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 is, is, oh, is this guy going to whoop? I I accidentally chose Kazakhstan. Oh, you're oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, you boy. are so fucked. So, I'm saying to myself, is is somebody going to woo woo town in here? What the hell? Is <laughs> <he doing? laughs> All of a sudden, I hear a. Oh! Flush. Oh. Guy comes out. Big smile on his face. It's all yours, buddy. No, it fucking isn't. God damn it. I think what I'm trying to say... I think what I'm trying to say, folks, is somebody was ejaculated. Jesus! There was five of them! Knuckles! <laughs> And they were shuffling. <laughs> he was, he was beat on his bishop. I saw him with my own two eyes. <laughs> Paul, Paul Heyman, why are you describing this? <laughs> my client had his waiter in his hand and was making this motion. You can't see me, but I'm doing a jerk motion. <laughs> I just made myself stand. <laughs> That'll happen. <laughs> my client. My client. My client. <laughs> oh, you nice, will address nice. me. Passing it right you to me. You oh, will address off. me as Hall of Famer, Paul Heyman. Thank you very much. No, no, no better place for him to be getting inducted than the city that Extreme built. I figured That's that true. might happen, considering it was silly. The question is, who's going to do the induction speech? Hmm. I guess oh, whichever be a ECW lot legend of is, people. I guess yeah, whichever this, ECW legend is either A, I alive, mean, or B, still on good if terms he hadn't with been WWE. I was going to say, if he hadn't been presented on Grata, it would have been Brock. 
Hey, but, it's, it's um, whoever's uh, whoever's available that is, you know, not persona non grata or under contract with another company. I mean, if TNA will let Tommy Dreamer. I was going to say, but Tommy Dreamer is a good possibility. Yeah. Tommy Dreamer is a good possibility. Uh, CM Punk, just because CM Punk on the mic. I work God with damn it. adults. I work with adults. <laughs> I kind of oh. want that shirt from Redbubble that has the quote about, like, I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. I work with children. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot to do something. <clears throat> Mike, you fat, 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 fat uh, off sides. Oh. You fat yeah, off sides. This, this is the Olympics. So while this plays like Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey, there's rules. Ugh, that rules. fucking sucks. That's boring. Rules are for nerds. It's the Olympics. There must be rules. No fighting. Yeah. Ow. And it's the same announcer as Wayne Gretzky, too. They were that lazy. I don't get, know. No, get away. Get away, Czech Republic. <laughs> Kacharov. Motherfucker. Kacharov. You got Jogger for tripping. I, I love yes. the generic, like, freaking arena organ music. Like, what's mm. next? The Mexican hat dance? I will say, though, uh, they haven't scored either, so it's it's all right. Yeah, no, this is rather competitive. Mike, you fat, fat, no. fat. God damn it. It's my fault for choosing Kazakhstan instead of Czech Republic on accident. I thought I was just—I I, I, I thought I was just picking my opponent's team, and it turns out no. You were picking yourself. I was fucking myself. Can, more can, like, can you can you change sides like in a pause menu? No, like, for uh, God's uh, sake! I didn't I say fat, fat, fat. I don't fat, think fat. so. Yeah, I don't think so. Unfortunately. I could have sworn yeah. there was like a freaking way to like switch. Oh god damn it! Yeah. I had the puck and didn't realize it, and I shot it. You know, you gotta you gotta put it in Borat if you're gonna score. You know, I'm I'm just looking at like the other teams. You know what? <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. You could have been Austria. I mean, if, if Kazakhstan is in Mother this game, seriously. Seriously, guess who's ranked below Kazakhstan in the final Austria? rankings? Austria? Yeah, Austria came in last. 14th. Stop! Well, care to was... guess any of the other ch countries that were worse than Kazakhstan? <laughs> in, in this particular Olympics? Yeah. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know. Ooh. Uh, Germany. Fuck off. Really? Slovakia. Okay. France. All right. Italy. Okay. That... And a country that's totally known for hockey all around the world. God damn it. Japan. You know, the first thought in my mind when I thought of hockey, Japan. Yeah, I know, right? I, I I absolutely like you know, I I always think of you know that that goalie uh, Watanabe, you know he's like uh, he's like a samurai guarding the net. <laughs> See, I don't know if you're fucking with. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about at all. You know, it's Son actually of a bitch. strangely enough, I did not know this, but apparently Kazakhstan. According to the oh IIHF rankings, yeah. Kazakhstan is ranked 15th in terms of hockey. I, that's huh. I did not. I did not know. Yeah. Uh, looking at this above them uh, were Belarus, U.S., Sweden, followed by the four previous teams mentioned. Belarus. So, uh, yeah, Belarus came in seventh. You know, U.S. U.S. came in a paltry sixth. Mm. 
You know, for the country that has the Stanley Cup. Sir Staniel's Cup. Stan- Sir Staniel's. Sir mm. Psycho Sexy. You know, strangely enough, on the woman's Fuck side of off. the on the woman's side of the hockey rankings, Japan ranks seventh. Hmm. I can believe that. Thank fuck. Um, looking at like the Winter Olympics <laughs> in like Japan. Uh 1936, ninth place, tied, eighth place in 1960. Uh they've done it like every year up to 1998, and I'm looking at it and it's like eighth place, eleventh place, tenth place, ninth place, ninth place, twelfth place, thirteenth mm. place. At that I'm point, I think they just to, gave up. God damn it. I'm starting to say that Japan might not be very good. And yet at the Asian Winter Games, they've gotten gold before. Hmm. Apparently they're good, but only in Asia. They've well, gotten gold like, twice. What you're saying is they're big in Japan. That wasn't tripping? <laughs> All right. I'll take it. Get the Japan Ice Hockey Federation is the well, governing body of ice hockey in Japan. And the first Asian now, nation to join the International Ice Hockey Federation. I... What, what I'm about to say is 100% legit. This is not a joke. Um, for many years, uh, you know like how in the Summer Olympics the, for basketball, they have qualifying tournaments and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Angola, African nation, dominates the African tournament every year. Now, do you know of any kind of Angolan dominance in the Olympics for basketball. Neither do I. As far as I know, isn't the Olympics usually dominated, like, in basketball by America, like, almost every time? (laughs) Yeah, either that or some, like, European... You know, like, we we invented the sport, therefore we win. (laughs) That's true. Uh, hmm. I'm just Ooh. looking at like the other hockey years that hockey has been at the Olympics. Yeah. The only, actually, it's very interesting enough. You know, one, there's one, two, three times where the U.S. has not gotten gold. Goddamn um, son of a bitch and motherfucker. Yeah. In 1980, Yugoslavia what? did not. Uh, Yugoslavia got gold, but then again, I believe we boycotted that game. Those games. Huh. 84, uh, 84, yes. Well, no, 84. They won the U.S. won the gold. And Yugoslavia I believe 84 won the gold. was the one that got a ba 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 well, uh, it's interesting, we... actually, uh, Get... lo- looking at the fact that, like, Russia is, like, really not allowed at the Olympics a lot of times. Uh, ice hockey in 2018, uh, the men's gold medalists were the Olympic athletes from Russia. Right. In 2022... The uh, silver medal in uh, men's went to the uh, Russian Olympic Committee. Well, think about it like this. In 1992, at the Summer Olympics for basketball, the fourth place team was the unified team. And I'm using air quotes because those were all the um, countries that had broken away from Soviet control. Yeah. Well, uh, apparently it's because uh, uh, in uh, 2022 uh, for the Winter Olympics, the reason why they were the Russian Olympic Committee was due to the consequences of a doping scandal in Russia. Son of a bitch. Hmm. But you know, because, because Russia must win at all athletics. Duh. <laughs> Because if we do not win, Putin will kill us. 
Oh, uh, they, they were at the Winter Olympics 2022. Apparently, the Olympic athletes from Russia was... Uh, oh, you motherfucker. The suspension of the Russian Olympic suspension of the Russian oh, Olympic Committee. Oh, suspension of the Russian Olympic blah, 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 blah. That's my favorite. It was it was my my impression of Donald Trump trying to give a speech <laughs> about uh, freaking uh, international relations. My name is Donald I, I Trump, and I'm, I'm having a stroke. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Porky Pig. <laughs> I don't wear pants. Porky Pig. S- seriously, I I watched I watched a Colbert segment recently, and I'm like, you know what? People dog on Biden all you want, but uh, Trump, between his healthy diet of McDonald's and uh, Percocets and and Ritalin and shit, like this man has probably had like five strokes and we would never guess because he's paid off the doctors. L- ladies and gentlemen, if my penis could get any smaller, it would be a clitoris. Uh, <laughs> thoughts on Olympic hockey, Nagano 98, Dane. Um, I mean, it's the same thing as Wayne Gretzky's 3d hockey, which is not necessarily a bad game, but with fouls, I mean, it's not which... a big, but there is fouls. And that's kind of boring. There's ducks and geese. And goose and goose. Fowls. <laughs> fowls. Jason. I was gonna say there's there's fowls and ducks and geese and uh <laughs> honk. Whoa, we're so gonna step on a duck. Yeah, you know, I mean it's it's a solid game because it's Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey, but it's not as fun because there's fouls and I mean like and not ducks. as many, and not, <laughs> and not as, and not as many teams, uh, yeah. but also, but also funny names from countries. You're, you're going like, how do I pronounce this? There's like fifty consonants in one vowel. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you just want to play, if you're wanting to play a Rain Gretzky hockey game, just play Rain Gretzky. Honestly, I don't know. There's really no reason for Olympic hockey Nagano ninety eight to to yeah. really exist. Um, yeah, because like everybody was saying, it's 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 just Wayne Gretzky with fouls and ducks and geese. Uh, scores out of ten, Dane. Five. Jason. Yeah, solid seven. I'll give it a six. It's uh, playable. You know, yeah. You know, perhaps we are uh, misunderstanding uh, Kazakhstan because they seem to have um, done very well in culinary stuff. Yeah, at least. Yep. All right. I'm uh, going to spin this bad boy again and see what we get. Game number two. <laughs> Game number oh, two. For fuck's sake. Oh no! <laughs> what is? What's good? Oh, okay. We get a double dose of hockey. Yeah. Considering there's a Wayne Gretzky wow, game on the wheel, we could get a triple dose of hockey. Wow, I'm looking at the winter hockey results for the '98 Olympics in Austria. We've oh my god, we finished worse than Japan. That is not good. <clears throat> Mm. Craziness. That's uh, I I'm gonna do this just because. Uh, hopefully, this game will allow me to do computer versus computer, so I can take a fucking break. <laughs> computer versus computer. That would be nice. The Flyers at the Red Wings. That's literally the two who competed for the Stanley Cup in '97. Yep. Yes, let's, indeed. Let's do it. I looked it up. Huh? Looks like we're going okay, to be able to... Okay, yay! All right. Yay! Computer we don't have hockey. to play it. Yep. Computer versus computer. The Flyers versus the Red Wings. Have you gotten your Red Wings today? Ew. You know, I was going to say, <clears throat> unless it's like hot sauce, if, I, if my wings are red, I'm concerned. By the way... I am currently. Thanks, Patrick. I am currently consuming 
C4 Ultimate Energy Ruthless Raspberry. It's the one of the two C4s that's got the WWE logo on it. Ah. Uh. Hmm. So I've had Ruthless Raspberry, and yesterday I actually downed a can of um, what I don't remember. It's something like something Power Bomb. I don't remember the full name of it. Well, uh, what did you think? The Power Bomb one is great. Like it's really good. Probably my favorite energy drink I've ever drank. Can you give us a, a guesstimation of what the kind of flavor it is? So it's like lemonade and punch, which is really and it's really good. It might be berry power bomb or something like that. I don't know. Um, it's it's, it's actually really good, and I really I actually enjoyed it. This one is fine. Ruthless raspberry. Uh, it's but just it's, it's just sorry. berry power bomb. It doesn't have any alliteration it like berry, Ruthless Raspberry. B berry Powerbomb. Berry Powerbomb yeah. is very good. Of the two WWE flavors, that's the better one. Ruthless Raspberry is fine, but I don't know that I would consume it all the time. I think if I was going I, to choose between the two, I would pick Berry Powerbomb. D does it give you super brain performance like it says? No, but it gives me a Batista-sized dick. Whoa, we got a goal <laughs> scored already. Yep. We're thir 13 <laughs> seconds in, and Philly's already up one nothing. And hey, and hey, you know, you know who Batista, what movie Batista's in right now? Doom 2. Yes. Yeah. Which is scorching its way up the box office. Well, he, he's in a few movies, but yeah, <laughs> he's in Doom 2. I, he's in I'm, Spectre. He's in Let me put to you this, Galaxy. Batman. He, I'm in a current movie that he's in. He's in. He's in that I mean, one uh, with that. In, he's in that one with that Punjab stand-up comic. I forget his name. Um. Not uh, not Anzi sorry. The other one. Pat Sajak. That's it. Yep. He's in a, he's in a movie. With Pat. <laughs> he was in a movie. It was like U Uber or whatever. I don't remember what the fuck is. Stuber. <laughs> Scuba Duber Doo. Stuber, I think, is what it's called. That movie. Stuber, yeah. Ooh. The broke the glass. Well, no, the computer broke the glass, but... That's what it, I interest... said. Puck frozen. Well, oh. it's on the ice. What do you expect? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Listen, you idiot. <laughs> Listen to me. That'd be like if I got stung by a wasp and, and my face swelled up and I was like, face swollen. No shit. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Uh... Fetisov? That is that is an unfortunate uh unfortunate last name. What was it? Very soft. Fetisov? Oh hey. That guy's name was Pusher. Dave Batista was in the boy in the heron. He was the parakeet king. Ah. Yep. No, it was hilarious to see him as the parakeet king because they got big man to voice big parakeet. Big meaty man slapping me. John Cena has been in a ton of movies too. Well, yeah, I mean he's he's currently in theaters right now with Argyle. Yep, he and he's would... about to be in theaters again with Ricky Stenicki. And he should uh... be in theaters right now with Coyote versus Acme. God damn it! Did Did you say? Hold on, I'll get to that in a second. But did you say Ricky Stenicki? Yes. Yes. Uh... It's a movie about it... these guys who go on vacation away from their wives, but they lie about. They're going to visit some dude named Ricky Stenicki, and they hire an exotic dancer, played by John Cena, to play Ricky Stenicki to fool their wives. And and John Cena, uh, as promotional material for it, Open has an OnlyFans, only yeah. where he's been doing nothing but puns. Yes. Wait a minute. Is this the, is this the fucking poster? <laughs> what is this? Like, like, seriously, he's been doing puns like, hey, everybody, I'm going to smell balls. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why this is tickling me the way it is, but just, it's just like Britney Spears. Oh, anyway. Um, if there's one thing Cena can do, it's slapstick comedy. 
it's true, and he he seems like he has a great time doing it as well. Which is which is why I swear the man really does need to do an earnest movie. Hey, Vern, I'm gonna give you the rock bottom. Know what I mean? That's not even your finisher, so you know what the fuck. Well, sorry, Vern. I'm gonna. I guess I gotta go save Christmas again, Vern. <laughs> I, I um, seriously can hear John Cena's voice in my head going, "Hey, Vern." Hey Vern, hey, Vern you can't see me, Vern. I'm gonna star in a Looney Tunes movie that's never gonna come out, come out because Warner Brothers Discovery are assholes. You know, David Zaslav. We were talking about this earlier today <laughs> on Facebook. Yes, but they leaked a scene by scene breakdown of the movie, which I read yep. through. And if it's legitimate, uh, it sounded like a genuinely clever movie. I yeah. don't understand. I would have loved the, to see it, yeah. Same, same. I mean, the fact of the, the, the test screenings were apparently Very across good, the yeah. board positive. So I just, I don't know what made them go, yeah. Tax write off. Blah, 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 blah. Well, the thing is, is they could probably make more money now if they actually did release it because so many people, you know, would probably go see it. A lot of people are pissed yeah. that it's not coming out. Ooh, umi, umi, ooh. Where are ooh? <laughs> we got some oohs to ooh now. <laughs> Ahoy! <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> hey. That that would be yeah. what if what? Navi oh. uh what if were... Navi were in the Wind Waker? Ahoy! The uh the players Ahoy! were vib- the players were vibrating against the back wall there for a minute. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> they were just kind of stuck for a second. Like you... That sounds pretty that sounds pretty F- Philadelphia, you want to talk about it? <laughs> well, we're from Philadelphia, so we we just don't want to we don't want to talk like, about you, it. It's like have you been to Philadelphia? And I could honestly We boot Listen, we booed Santa Claus. Yes. I have been to Philadelphia, and it is not always sunny there. They lied to me. <laughs> How dare they? It's true. Whoa, what the fuck? What was that? Somebody lost, Somebody's, some, somebody lost a helmet. Somebody lost a helmet. Wow. What the, this is the slowest breakaway I've ever seen. This is the slowest hockey game I've ever seen. Yeah, hockey's usually never this focused. Yeah, this is slow. quite this. Yeah, this is dragging a little bit. I mean, it could just be me after seeing, after playing the Nagano game, or, or basically Wayne Gretzky's Olympic hockey, and how fast <laughs> that played. Wayne Gretzky's because at least Olympic that game, hockey. for all the shit that we're giving it, like for all the shit that we gave it for just being a Wayne Gretzky clone, at least it played fast. Like it was, it was pretty, pretty slick. This is kind of so, leave it. Leave it to the people behind freaking. Wait, Iguana only did ports of NBA Jam, so even though this is yeah, you know what else? Even Iguana though this did? is midway, yeah, mid is right. Do you want to know else? You want to know what else Iguana did? Torak <laughs> fucking dinosaur hunter. That too, isn't that good? Yes. So it's not like they don't put out good games. They could they can try and apply themselves when they want to. So why didn't they That's right, baby? I can understand so if I, every game they put out was shit, but that's not the case. I two more two more Sega games to add to the collection. Oh, this was a claim, not Midway. This was before a claim and Midway merged. They still got Turok. they still put out Turok though. <laughs> well, I, re- I My remember point stands. Uh, the whole the whole point behind a claim actually uh Putting out Turok was because they bought the comic book company that made Turok. Yes, that is true. That is true. They did do that. Uh, you want to talk about it, Ref? Ref? You want to talk about there it? You go. Oh, there we I, go. I <laughs> added two more Sega games to my collection now. You want to? Nice. Ba- you guys want to back off the referee? Jesus Christ! Uh, what are the two Sega At- games? Animaniacs Ooh. and Alien Three. Animaniacs wasn't bad. It's a good Konami game. 
Yes, we know it hit the post. That's why it made the bing noise. Yeah, as I say. Bing. yeah it made a bing noise instead of making a Google noise or a and Yahoo noise or a duck, Alien duck, go 3. noise. Or, or an Ask Jeeves noise. I have... <laughs> Lycos noise. Oh, oh my god. Wolf. Prodigy, prodigy noise. Actually, then again, that would be Twisted Fire Starter. <laughs> but made a dog pile noise. That dog pile? Yeah, that, was, that, was, a real, that was a search engine. That was a search engine. I actually don't Al remember that. Alta Vista. <laughs> Alta Vista. <laughs> <laughs> We're really digging back into fucking annals of time internet history for those uh, search engines. Because mm. I'm pretty sure <laughs> half of them don't exist anymore. DuckDuckGo does exist. In fact, they have a browser out that's actually really good. Mm. Yeah, it's like the third most used browser. I actually use it myself. Really? Yeah. Ah. I use uh, I use Vivaldi. Vivaldi's pretty good. Anything, yeah, I, anything that's hey, anything that's chromium that's not Chrome is good because Chrome. You know, every time tends whenever to, like, I want to look down for something, RAM, I go to the RAM. I mean, I go to Chow. Or Tioma.com. <laughs> um, mm -mm. But yeah, I would recommend DuckDuckGo. It's Chromium, and it's a lot more privacy-based than Chrome ever could hope to be. You know, I'm I'm about to, like, ditch freaking Google and Bing for uh, DuckDuckGo as a search engine just because yeah. I find searching on those search engines doesn't get me anything decent lately. You know, it's, true. it's, you know, they, they just want you to use their AI function. I would just switch to DuckDuckGo's browser. It's, I'm, I'm partial to Vivaldi. That's I, fair. I find it's nice and speedy. That's fair. You know, it's, it's also super customizable. So I can, I can understand that. Vivaldi is a pretty good browser. Vivaldi yeah. is pretty good. You know, Opera's Opera decent. GX is pretty Opera's good. D Opera GX was, is, was my go-to for a long time. Uh, yeah. I also discovered recently there's a Firefox fork called Florp. That's really good. Fl Florp. Florp. F L O O R P. Florp. It's really good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, another yeah. another Firefox. Why are they playing Gauntlet in the background? I don't know. Uh, another Firefox fork that's really good. Waterfox. It's another good one. I could go on with browser okay. recommendations all day. Basically, what I'm saying is anything but Chrome. Chrome I mean, really hell. sucks. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> even Microsoft Edge is better than Chrome Edge somehow. Is, Edge is better than Chrome. Uh, yes, absolutely it is. I agree. And yet it's like, oh, let me install Chrome onto my computer. Boo, boo, bee, boo. <laughs> boo, boo, bee, boo. You know, every time I do that... Um... That voice thing now. All I can think of is, hey, you, I'm Michael Mouse. <laughs> I'm Steve <laughs> Boat. <laughs> Steve Boat, I'm Did you, did you say, pair of red gloves. Did you fucking say Michael Mouse? <laughs> That's <Yeah>. the joke. <laughs> I mean, that is, a Mickey is a nickname of Michael, so I get it. <laughs> Jay Boat, I was thinking of getting myself a nice pair of white gloves. No! <laughs> My name's Steve <laughs> Boat William. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Dubis Goobis video. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Quebus Mevis. I, I hope, uh, I hope Dubis is, uh, doing well. Why wouldn't he be? Mer we 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 um, we 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 uh, he posted recently about, like, somebody in his family passing away. Obi uh, Obi when, when he uh, when he did the uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog video. Ah, uh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I also enjoy uh, Circle Tunes on uh, YouTube. They do some funny stuff. Mm hmm. The Too Many Snacks does some good animations. <laughs> I was just I was just wondering what my noise that I had a, I heard a disconnect noise from my computer. It's because my controller shut off because I'm not using it. <laughs> Sorry, that's all right. That's fine by me. I I love how they just fill the background with like 
random classical music on like stadium organ. So they had the right to do, probably. Next. Coming up next on the stadium organ. Uh, ah. Cannibal Corpse. Beethoven. I mean, it's Philadelphia oh. versus Detroit. You're not going to hear fucking Bruce Springsteen or Kid Rock. <laughs> Born in well, the maybe, USA. Maybe, maybe you would hear Kid Rock. I mean, it is Detroit. That's true. Ugh. You would have to be. You would have to go to New Jersey to hear Mr. Brucey Bruce Springsteen. That's fair. <laughs> oh my! You're talking boats. What a whimsical concept. You toot toot. Toot. I watched an interesting uh, video by uh, uh, Comic Tropes about uh, the Mickey Mouse comics uh, that mm -hmm. were in the. Uh, uh, syndicated uh, papers yeah. and how much of a rapscallion Mickey was like well, they you... gave him they gave him a character arc as opposed to the Disney cartoons well act, you know technically in the very early Disney cartoons Mickey was kind of a scumbag like he did a yeah. lot of there's Basically, there's quite like, literally a storyline though in those like comic strips where where Mickey almost commits suicide. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm fed up with this world. It gets dark. <laughs> Mom and Dad, fucking forgive me. Oh, oh, gee whiz. I can't believe I caught Minnie in bed with Goofy. I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. Ha <laughs> ha! All I wanted was to eat Minnie's pussy. <laughs> but now, now I'm gonna have Goofy's semen on and tasting Jesus my mouth. Oh God! <laughs> what? No, no, Jesus! Let me tell you something, Mister Riley. Jesus doesn't exist. God is dead. <laughs> my God, Jesus! <laughs> oh my Lord! No, what, did I, what did I just fucking say? What did I just fucking say? Jesus is dead, and so is my heart, because Minnie was messing around with Uncle Scrooge. Well, I'm sorry, you Mickey. Me? I couldn't help it. Minnie loved my fat cock. <laughs> oh, fuck you, Goofy! You piece of shit. Well, Millie certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> She, she was tight too until I was done with her. <laughs> now it's like throwing oh, oh, a hot dog no. down the hallway. No. <laughs> this might Even be one of the haven't. this might be one of the worst conversations I've ever been a part of. <laughs> wow. Okay. I uh I, I just I just read uh, I just read something even darker. Like I, I knew about the whole Mickey Mouse like trying to commit suicide thing from the the uh, comic tropes video, but uh, Mickey's failed attempt to drown himself in the gas of a leaky heater would unfortunately be a harbinger of things to come in Walt Disney's life. In 1938, Walt and his brother Roy struck riches with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, grossing eight million, well over a hundred million in today's money, in its right. first release. The brothers bought a new house for their parents, but their mother um. Flora complained about the furnace not working. Walt had it fixed, but the repairs were inadequate, and on November 6th, Flora called Disney, died of asphyxiation from the furnace's fumes. Oh. Uh. That's... And this was 1938, so this gave Hitler an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> so you... that's why Walt Disney was an anti-Semite. Yikes. <laughs> you We all need to go oh, home now. Hey, Mickey, let's all but go to Auschwitch. Hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. Hey, Shut the hey, fuck Mickey up, said... Matt Pat. You're retired. Hey, Mickey, say Kyle. <laughs> By the time this episode airs, he will be retired. <laughs> true, mm. true. <coughs> well, he'll, he'll be retired and able to do guest spots. 
Hey, Matt Pat, you want to be on our show? <laughs> Yo! Matt, Matt Pat, say the thing! I'd rather... Hello, internet, welcome. I, I would rather live in a house with a faulty furnace. <laughs> why the... Why does Matt Pat sound kind of like Casey Kasem? Hey, everybody, I'm Scooby-Doo. I mean, Shaggy. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is Frank who, who, who Walker. Please only Scoob. Like, hey, Scoob, those goddamn Jews, Scoob. <laughs> Terrible. You, hey, Zoinks, like, you, you're you sure your name isn't Scooby Jew? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thoughts on NHL Breakaway 98. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I. Thoughts on NHL Breakaway 98, Dane, please? I, I'm i done. <laughs> <So> done. <laughs> and we still have one more game to go. I know. <laughs> um, every thought just went out of my head between <laughs> these last three minutes. <laughs> it was then that Hitler had an idea. <laughs> what if I killed all those fucking Jews? Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Dane's just sitting there. Essentially, yes. Uh, this game was... Oh, there we go. This game was... Um, it was okay. It was no great shakes. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't something that had me riveted. Jason. Quit playing with your Nokia cell phone and tell me about... Hello! Break tell me I'm sorry, I'm on the phone here. He threw his Nokia. No, I'm in church. Threw his Nokia and it broke a plate glass window. Uh, <laughs> so that thing is basically a fucking brick. Thoughts on the ser game, please, Jason. Ser seriously, I would rather freaking take a Nokia up the ass than play this game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, uh, that could be arranged. Um, so yeah. this game is. Really slow paced. It's, it's bland. It's very bland. Yeah, it's slow. My paced. God, like <laughs> this is like freaking unseasoned freaking mashed potatoes. Again, as I was saying, with <laughs> I, I can't believe I can say the same thing about two games in a row. But just play Wayne Gretzky. What's <laughs> what's Jackie. stopping you? Scores, <laughs> scores out of ten, Dane. Two. Uh, Jason. One. Yeah, I'll give it a two. So this is like going to Blockbuster Video and realizing that like every copy of Wayne Gretzky's ad, it's like, well, we got uh, we got a uh, uh, hockey in Nagano. We got uh, we got a uh, hockey uh, fr from uh, uh, NHL Breakaway. I swear to God, if we get Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey, I will strip butt naked. Right now. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about that, thankfully. Yay! Oh, Yay! Yoshi's, Yoshi's story or island or whatever. <laughs> Yay! An actual good game. <laughs> This is this is the uh, game that when you beat it, the uh, credits music sounds suspiciously like the uh, Russian national anthem. Out of the blue, the island fell, darkened by an evil spell. <laughs> the blink of an I eye was all it took. The island became a storybook. I said, "Hey." <laughs> Super happy tree. The super happy tree vanished too, and once happy Yoshi's began to stew. Only baby Bowser could be so mean to ruin the happy Yoshi's dream. I said, "Hey, hey." I said, "Hey, hey, hey, nani nani and a ho ho ho." Oh my God, that that really does fit very well. Elsewhere on the pop up aisle, some Yoshi eggs survived the trap. <laughs> Looked like those Yoshis were tripping balls, too. The spotted, the spotted eggs 
in a Yoshi nest would soon face Baby Bowser's test. I said, hey. One by one, they began to hatch. Six of the Yoshis, a perfect batch. I'm gonna show my vagina. Look at my snack, Justin. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hey. They scratched their heads and they looked around, and some even tried to pound the ground. Mm. Sadness darkened every Yoshi's face. It should have been a super happy place. Wahoo. They quickly saw the problem at hand and required a cunning Yoshi plan. <laughs> if we grow super happy, the Yoshis thought, we'll spoil Wahoo. Bowser's evil plot. I said, hey. Mission then was crystal clear. They had to go and spread the cheer. I said, hey, and I'm not in a ho-ho-ho. All right, I get it. Wow. Let's, can we... Can I... I can't skip this. All right, cool. Sweet. So they, so it was they all agreed to rescue the super happy tree. They set out to follow the trail of fruit to find out that where the tree had taken root. When Yoshi wondered as he bounced if Baby Bowser could be trounced. We'll stay together, the others cried, and stomp his Baby Bowser hide. By eating fruit and having fun, the deed will surely soon be done. <laughs> and so the Yoshi's quest began to find the tree and save the land. Turn the page and you'll see how happiness grows in a tree. Uh, what? Yeah, penis grows in the tree. You didn't know that? <laughs> wow. Oh, you know why, I couldn't, you know why I couldn't fucking skip anything? It's because I had the controller was turned off. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the controller My turned God. itself off. You silly ass. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's just start at the beginning. Fuck it. We're not gonna get through the whole I mean, game anyway. It, it's basically choose your own difficulty. <laughs> Albino Yoshi. Well, yeah, the uh, black and white Yoshis can literally eat anything, right? Yep. I'll buy no she. <laughs> that Yoshi is very constipated. Nothing. All right. I think you can hit that to get. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I always thought when uh, I'd hear this, all I could hear is Garfield and friends. <laughs> I hope you made lots of spaghetti. Scared. <laughs> yeah, like the whole point of the game was to like try to eat the same color over and over again to try to get like the highest score possible. Or if you're speed running, just literally eat fucking everything in front of you like pretty a much. Dancing, fiesta, romantic, siesta, samba, let's lanza, I caramba, caramba. disguises, surprises, Surprise. and pies of all sizes. sizes. Uh, oh. oh, you got a ground pound. And then you can either jump over it or uh, go around them, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, what was that? Pac E Derm, I think the name of that enemy was? I think so. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking hell. Why not piece of shit? Hey! You know, we were yeah. talking about the uh, Garfield and Friends theme, but does anybody remember the first theme from the show the one before we're ready to party you know i remember seeing it like once years ago and 
Friends are there, I don't care. But yeah. friends will care for you. That weird fucking screech at the end. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, get to the finish line first, uh, so you can get the uh, melons. <laughs> the melons. Oh, get out of the way, Packy Derm. Three melons. Oh. Just like Total Recall. Ah. You are not you. You are me. No oh, shit. Oh, uh, because cause if you had gotten uh, all uh, seven, uh, Yoshi would have had an acid trip. Yoshi would have had seven ass. Well, because uh, I, I remember if you get all seven uh, melons, like the music goes like all like, Wow! Like freaking Jimi Hendrix starts playing the guitar. Free Poochie! Poochie died on the way back to his home planet. Well, I'm glad it's, I'm glad he, I'm glad it's free Poochie. I would have to, I would hate to have to pay for him. <laughs> oh no, you got hit by a shy guy. My name's Poochie D at a rock the telly. I'm half Joe Camel and a third Fonzarelli. <sighs> I have to go. My home planet needs me now. I'm Kung Fu Gangster from... I'm Kung Fu Hippie from Gangsta City. I'm a rapping surfer. You the fool, I pity. Ah, yes. Go up. Thank you. Why doesn't anybody love more, man? Everybody's gay for a mole man. Somebody, somebody's actually been doing a comic strip on Instagram that has Hans Molman in it, and it's interesting to say the least. Huh. There we go. Hooray! Acid trip. Here it comes! Oh dear. Yeah, I love how, like, every freaking egg while you're invincible that goes off is like a freaking nuke. So Just one more. Yoshi. It was the Yoshis who took over Nagasaki. I knew it! Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm following you. Come on, Poochie. Poochie, Poochie, where are you? What? Uh, they're oh, just the checkpoint I guys. I warped. I didn't mean to, but all right. Show us your balls. Or in the case of Yoshi, show us your eggs. Leap of faith. Oh. Show us your eggs. Show us your. Oh. You did a thing? Hooray! I ate 30 fruit. That's the end of the level. Yep. Oh. Well, apparently you ate 161 fruits. Or something like that. Oh no! Unskippable story time! The A-hole! <laughs> the e Asshole. Eat asshole. <laughs> asshole. 
eat asshole. <laughs> that is always what I thought they were saying. <laughs> we know yeah. we know exactly what you wanted us to do, Yoshi. <laughs> The what page do you think turned, have such and the Yoshis tongues. grew happier. <laughs> Thoughts on Yoshi's story, Dan? It's cute. No, it's, no, really, it's a very fun game. Albino Yoshi is the best Yoshi. <laughs> Albino uh, Yoshi, yep. Albino Yoshi. It plays very well. It's easy. And it's cool. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Jason. Uh-huh. It's a good game. It's a good game. <laughs> now, uh, I mean, way way better than uh, the previous Yoshi game uh, with Baby Mario because uh, Baby Mario uh, can uh, can freaking <laughs> suck a fat one. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, 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 Baby Mario. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I just found the clip. Interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this is a classic Nintendo game. It's it's fun to play. It's designed to be replayable because you only play one level per page. So in order to really get all all you can out of it, you have to replay it several times. Um, yeah, it's just it's classic Nintendo platforming game. Scores out of 10, Dane. Dan. Jason. 10. Yeah, 10. On this edition of the show, we played Olympic Hockey Nagano 98, NHL Breakaway 98, and Yoshi Story. Best game of the episode, Dane. Yoshi Story. Jason. Yoshi Story. I agree, Yoshi Story. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette.